Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rico Richardson. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to do a quick edit using On One Photo Raw 2020. Okay, let's just jump straight into the action. Here's the image that I've picked for this tutorial. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to click this symbol that will take you to the edit page. And if you see the presets over here, you can click this little symbol and then they will be gone. And then you'll have more room to work with uh, on your photo. Uh, as you can see, it looks like this photo has already been edited. And that has to do with the fact that on one applies a standard camera profile to this image. So if we click this, we can see that we can change it to landscape, portrait, vivid and neutral. I'm going to put it on linear raw because this is the raw image as it's been shot during that day. Uh, the image was taken in Switzerland, by the way, during the hike. And uh, we went a little bit higher up and then we went back. The plan was to walk all the way across here, but it was way too hot for Nacho. He couldn't keep up. So we went back for his safety. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you guys how to do some quick edits. The tone and color are already opened and that allows you to change the exposure of the image, the contrast, uh, to darken the highlights or to recover some details, uh, to work on the mid-tones, to work on the shadows, to work on the white point. So you can uh, adjust the white point to increase the highlights and then you can work on the black point to increase the shadows. And then you can add some structure to it. It's small details or local contrast. And then you can add or remove haze and fog. So let me show you guys what happens. If I move this to the left, it gets more dark. And if I move it to the right, it becomes way too bright. And as you can see, the changes are very immediate. It's very fast and it works absolutely amazing. Uh, I think this image is properly exposed, but as you can see, we don't have a histogram. And if you really want to work on an image, you have to keep your eye out on the histogram to make sure that the shadows aren't being crushed and the highlights aren't being blown out. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you guys how to recover the histogram and then I'll show you guys how to edit some more. So you can go to levels and then you see that here the histogram starts to appear. And as you can see, we don't have a lot of shadows, we don't have a lot of highlights, but we do have a lot of mid-tones. The mid-tones are basically the color ranges in an image. So what you don't want to do is you don't want to crush this and you don't want to blow out that. So you can do so if I drag this upwards, you see that the highlights are being blown out. If I drag it down, you see that everything switches or moves to the left. So if you move the highlights to the left, you will darken the details. And if you move it to the right, you see that details are starting to appear. So have a look at this rock over here. So right now I'm all the way to the left and now I'm moving all the way to the right. So let me place that one back. And if you want to undo everything, so let's say you've done some changes to this image. Uh, let me enhance some contrast. This looks absolutely horrible, but let me adjust the white point just a little bit to brighten it up. Crush the black some more to give it more contrast. Maybe add some structure and uh, let me dehaze the image as well. This looks absolutely horrible, uh, unless this is the look you're going for, but you can already see some haloing over here. So if you want to undo everything at once, click this little symbol and then everything is back to normal. But don't forget the camera profile goes back to on one standard as well. So if you click it, you have to put it back on linear raw, or at least we need to do that in this case. You can shift the temperature as well, make it warmer, make it colder. You can shift the tint as well from magenta to greens. And then you can add saturation and extract saturation. And now we've got a black and white image and you can add some vibrance to make the colors pop or to remove them to make them very, very dull. So let me undo everything that I've done. So these are basically the basic things that you can address while working on an image. You can do a lot of things with it. I call it the color correction, which means that you're starting with a base image and you're going to bring it back as natural as possible. And then you've got some options to color grade it. I'm going to show you guys how to work with different filters and how to get them in all one photo raw. And for that, they are hidden behind the effects and they are called filters. So if you click this, you've got a lot of options to choose from. So you can use a black and white filter. If you add it, you see that it immediately makes the image black and white. 
with the focus on green, yellow, red, infrared. That looks horrible, like a night shot. Uh, let me undo everything. And you can change the opacity as well. So if it's on 100%, you see that the filter is being applied entirely. And if you move this to the left, then nothing is being applied. So if I want to put it on like 52%, you see that it's starting to shift and starting to look a little bit more dull. So let me undo what I've done and I can remove this filter if I don't want to use it by pressing this button over here. Now the thing that people use the most is usually something that has to do with color grading. And for that you've got the color adjustment, color balance and color enhancer. If I click the color adjustment you see that it's like the HSL in Lightroom and you can change the range uh, but let's say you want to change the hue from the reds into the magentas or maybe more in the orange and what you can do is let's address the greens you can make them more yellow you see or make them more green I'm going to make them more yellow i'm going to increase the saturation a little bit just to change how they look let me show you guys a before and after so if you click this little blue point over here the entire filter will be deselected and if you click it once again it becomes activated and then the changes that you've made will be applied to this image as you can see you can work on different colors or you can just click some presets like fall desert sky you see some changes in the sky foliage now the emphasis is on the foliage over here so let me undo everything that we've done and once again you can change the opacity as well if you like to so let me close that one down or remove that one let's hit add filter and let me show you guys one more thing which is color balance and if you click that it'll allow you to change the colors of the highlights the midtones and the shadows so let's say i want to push the hue of the shadows into the blues and i want to increase the amount and i want to change the midtones into the teals i'm going to increase the amount as well i want to change the highlights into the oranges i'm going to increase the amount as well and now we've got a vintage type orange and teal look and if this is too flat for you you can always add some curves or change the curves let me show you guys how so what you need to do is hit add filter click on curves and you see that here we've got the curves this is the alpha output and then we've got the reds the greens and the blues so if i'm going to click this one if i crush this you'll see that the blacks are being crushed more contrast is being introduced into the image same goes for the highlights if i move this to the left the highlights are being blown out and if i move this downwards you see that they are being crushed there are no true white points in the image anymore and that's how you can change a little bit in the histogram as well so let's say you want to make sure that this shifts a little bit to the right all you got to do is something like this and if you want to move this to the left all you got to do is push this down a little bit and you see a shift happening and now you see that the image isn't this flat anymore and it's got a very weird curve usually you use an s curve like this let me show you guys real quick that already looks a lot better but you guys get the point point. and that's how you can just change your image a little bit make it better than the original obviously this was a quick edit but now you guys saw the tools where you can find them and how you can use them to create your own images let me know if you post them on instagram Tag me, I'd love to see you guys' results. And that's it for this week. I hope you've all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Did you know that you can now either buy me a coffee or become a patron of this channel? By doing so, you can personally help me grow my channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop in a video. And until next time, doei!